Compression encodes information into a smaller size than it originally was, decreasing the bandwidth usage of an application and providing faster download speeds for clients. We'll be adding compression to our Express server with the help of the compression middleware. In this tutorial, we'll enable compression for our Express application in order to compress all responses returned by the server. We'll also use our browser's dev tools to check the response sizes before and after we enable compression to see the effect that compression has. Adding compression with Express is fairly straightforward. But first, let's check the current size of responses from the server as a baseline. Let's start the server with our dev script. Once the server is running, open a browser window to localhost 3000 slash planets. Open your browser's dev tools to the network panel. I'm using Chrome as my browser on a Mac, so I can right click and select inspect or hit the keys command option J. Select the network panel once your dev tools window is open. While it's open, do a hard refresh of the page, which on Mac is command shift R and on Windows is control shift R. Also, make sure you've selected the tab all under the network tab. Once the request is completed, take a look at the size column for the slash planets page. It's somewhere around 800 kilobytes. That's a fairly large data payload, almost one whole megabyte for just some JSON data. Our planets endpoint returns a lot of data, about 2,000 planet records. A lot of that data is repeated key names in the JSON payload. Each record contains the same set of keys. That means we can probably save a lot of space through compression, which works very well with duplicated data. To enable compression, we're going to use the Compression Express middleware. We need to install it from NPM first, so open up a terminal window and run NPM I compression. In our server's index.js file, we'll require the compression package and call the returned function while passing it into app.use. This enables compression at the application level, which will compress responses for every route in the Express application. That's actually all you need to do to enable compression with Express. If you need to fine tune the details of what is compressed and how, you can check out the compression documentation on NPM to see all the available options. We don't need any customization, so let's see what effect this has on our planet's endpoint. Let's make sure that the server is running and then open the browser back to localhost 3000 slash planets. Do another hard refresh and wait for the request to complete. Under the size column in the network tab, you can see that the size decreased to something around 80 kilobytes. That's a huge savings from the original uncompressed size of about 800 kilobytes, especially for what was essentially a single line change to the application. Now, each unique payload will vary in how much space compression saves but most payloads will benefit from compression. Notable exceptions, though, are files which have already been compressed, like images or video files. They typically won't see any further benefit from gzip compression. If you click on the slash planets request itself in the network tab, you should see a section called response headers. The compression middleware has added a new header to our response called content encoding, which is set to gzip. This tells clients which type of compression was used to encode the response so they can properly reverse the compression. Reversing compression isn't something you should really have to worry about, as all modern browsers and most HTTP clients will handle this by default as long as they receive the content encoding header with the response. The presence of this header, as well as the decreased payload size, is how we can tell if the compression was applied to a response. To recap, in this tutorial, we used the compression middleware to compress all responses sent back from our server we were able to do so with only a single line change to the application. We also verified in the network tab of our browser's dev tools that we reduced the size of the response payload and saw that the content encoding header had been added to the response.